By the end of the first week, we were really starting to see a lot more of Bailey's personality. He started coming out of his shell. What are these? <gasps> we did have an issue where he just stopped eating his biscuits. He didn't like them for some reason. So here we are pretending to eat his biscuits, which made him very interested. See, this is what happened. Look at his bowl. This is the same thing. He won't eat it there. <laughs> But after pretending to eat his biscuits for a while, he decided that they weren't so bad after all, and then we had no problem with their feeding situation. When we first started walking Bailey, we were getting up really early, like 5 or 6 a.m., so that hopefully there weren't other people and dogs around. Of course, we couldn't control that, so sometimes we did come across other dogs, and you can see in this clip how... Bailey is quite a strong dog and he would pull towards the other dogs. I couldn't control him, so my partner had to walk him and use his body weight to keep Bailey away. He didn't tend to bark at other dogs, he would just pull towards them and sometimes it would be very unpredictable. Like he'd be walking fine and then suddenly he'd just wham pull across your body and you weren't expecting it. We really didn't want Bailey or another dog to get hurt. So in order to save our arms and save Bailey from biting another dog, we ended up putting two collars on him and then we both walked on either side of him holding a lead each, which meant that if he pulled in one direction, the person on the other side could pull him back. And that really helped him get the idea and he started walking without pulling. He wasn't very attentive when we were out though because there was way too many distractions around. So we really worked hard on training him at dinner times to look at us and listen to us. And because he was such a young dog and such a boisterous dog, the food training was quite difficult to start with because I felt really bad for him. I felt mean. Stay. Stay. Like, just look at him sitting there waiting for his food. He looks so sad. And so I just felt terrible asking him to wait and then making him sit there until he eventually looked at me. Look at me. Come on, sit. Sit. Good boy. Look at me and then you can eat. So I just had to stand there and keep trying to reason with him until he eventually looked at me. Hey, Bailey. The logic behind trying to get him to look at us was so that he would know to look at us for directions that we were the ones that told him what he could and couldn't do and we hoped that that would translate to roadside training we didn't have any problems with getting him to sit at the side of the road but the issue was then getting him to look at us when we wanted to walk across the road you want to go but if you want to go you have to look look here bailey hey you can see here he's just refusing to look because he's so excited about crossing the road Look at me. <laughs> now there's a fly. Sit. But we just refused to cross the road oh, until he yeah. looked at us. He had to make eye contact and he had to know who was telling him it was safe to cross the road. In the end, I ended up just putting myself in front of his face. And then we started using we treats. We've been struggling to find a treat that Bailey likes for walks, but clearly he likes these meatballs because he keeps looking at me. Normally when he has the treats, he might spit them out or look away, but he really likes these ones. They're the dog meatballs that you can get in the supermarket. I got myself a fluoro vest and wrote Foster in Training on it. This was because we'd been having trouble with other people having their dogs off lead and just letting them run up to Bailey. And these people would be like, oh, don't worry, my dog's friendly. And we'd be like, yeah, but we don't know if he's friendly. And this is me persisting with Bailey because he has to sit before we leave our property. Because while walks are very fun, we live on a busy road and we need Bailey to be calm and not running out on the road. Sit. Good boy. Oh. <laughs> Got to work on not dropping that. Sit. Good boy. Now the next thing we're trying to do, I don't know if it's a proper training thing, but we're trying to get him to look at us before we go. And you can see here that he waited very nicely and very patiently until the car went past and then Bailey decided it was time to go. No, Bailey, you are very wrong. So you can see here that I'm using the meatball to make him look up at me. And then once he looked, then we can cross the road. 
So again, Bailey thought he was going to cross the road, but no, we have to sit. And if we don't sit, we have to wait patiently until the sitting is done. Look at me. Good boy, come. But Bailey was a very smart dog. And so he started giving these one second looks and then trying to cross the road. Sit. Sit. Now there's a distraction across the road. So, uh, come back. Sit. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, we'll try again. And you can see there's a lot of waiting and if it doesn't go right, pulling Bailey back and starting again. And there were always moments where Bailey just refused to listen, even though he knows about sit very well now. Even though Morgan is repeating the word sit over and over again, we later learned that you probably shouldn't keep repeating the commands because then the dogs learn that they don't have to sit the first time you tell them. But we're on a learning journey just the same as Bailey is. What's going on? We also found out that Bailey just craves human attention. He's a massive sook and he just has to have his head wherever you are. I just want to be included too. And here Morgan was playing a game on his phone and Bailey wanted none of that. Bailey is all about that family time and putting phones away. Yeah, that's right. You tell him, stop playing. I want attention. Is that right? Is that right? Morgan, on the other hand, was not so impressed because he had just gotten into playing Among Us and he was about to find the imposter. And that's what we got up to in the second week of having Bailey in our home. He certainly brought a lot of fun and a lot of laughter into our lives.